for example, you could read a book and do a book trailer, and then we can connect it, link it to a QR code, and put it on the back of the actual book. Another option would be we can certainly use Minecraft. We did it for um, Bunker Hill, and we studied the American Resolution. The American Revolution. The kids did a simulation where they were the colonists and then they were the British and they reenacted um, this battle of Bunker Hill and at one point you'll see them throwing snowballs at each other um, to see who's going to win the fight. You could do that through a bunch of different content areas to enhance and expand what you're learning. We can also use Animoto as a media tool to quickly create a production about some that you're learning. We can also do just a simple screencast, whether it's with screencast o -Matic or QuickTime to do a little tutorial about something that you're learning that we could also link to a QR code if you wanted to. Another option would be to create a keynote video and to combine it with your words, your thoughts, whatever content area you have a voiceover and we can find videos as long as we cite them at the end and we can include them in here. And so all of this would be your information, you talking about it. And you can have videos in there too that we can find and that we can download, we can clip and adjust. And it's you talking about it, pausing for a video, we can do that as well. And don't forget about just the other normal uh, other applications that you guys can go ahead and explore and think about. We have iMovie. As I mentioned earlier, we have Keynote, we have Pages, there's so many things to use on here, and plus, we have the iPads. So you take your content, you take what you want to learn, and you can go from there.